everyone, welcome back to Current Chinese. Today we're bringing you a story that was brought to my attention by my teacher, Alice. So Alice, if you're watching this, thank you very much for the story. It was originally a story about a teacher that spent her life to give free educations to girls in her region. But as I was researching this, I realized pretty soon that I was opening a can of wombs. It was in fact a topic that ended up covering aspects like inequalities in China between cities and rural areas, inequalities between women and men in the workplace, and the harsh reality of housewives in China. Stay with me to learn what I found. Zhang Guimei is a 63-year-old Chinese teacher. He lives in the northern Yunnan state. 张老师的梦想是把免费的教育带给云南大山里的女孩子。他用了十年的时间，成立了中国第一所免费的女子高中。在这所学校，农村的女孩子可以免费上学。在中国，农村和城市。几乎是两个世界。城市里有更好的学校和更多的教育资源，而农村里的孩子可以获得的教育就差远了。而且，如果没有好的教育，农村的孩子就只能继续留在农村。或者到城里去做很辛苦的工作，所以对农村的孩子来说，教育是可以改变命运的。有的农村家庭如果没有钱让所有的孩子都上高中，他们有时只会让男孩继续上学。这样，女孩不能接受更多的教育，她们只能嫁人，然后当家庭主妇。这样的情况在下一代可能又会再一次出现。张老师认为，让女孩子继续接受教育，可以改善这种情况。为了帮助更多的女孩上大学，他做了很多的努力，也获得了很好的成果。从2008年起，他帮助了 1,600 多个女孩上了大学。可是最近，张老师因为另一件事上了新闻，一位张老师以前的女学生。想给学校捐钱，不过这个学生虽然上了大学，可是还是成了家庭主妇。张老师觉得这是不对的，所以不愿意接受他的钱，因为他觉得成了家庭主妇就失去了独立，这样会增加男女的不平等。有的人不同意张老师的做法，他们认为成为家庭主妇应该是个人的选择。中国的家庭主妇应该得到更多的理解和尊重。也有很多人同意张老师，他们认为上过大学的家庭主妇很多都是。不得不离开工作，因为他们不仅要工作，还要做几乎所有的家务。如果他们生了小孩，政府也没有任何的帮助，他们也不能因为有了孩子就不加班了。所以，他们很多人没有选择。只能做全职妈妈。这些人认为，上过大学的女性成为家庭主妇，是因为男女的不平等。他们非常希望
中国在这方面能够改善，政府和公司能够给他们更多的支持，让女性不需要在家庭和工作之间选择。Thank you for watching. We covered a lot of different aspects today, and we realized we didn't talk a lot about the story of this woman, which I personally find very inspiring. So check her out via this link. So what parts of this story has piqued your interest the most? Let us know via the comments below. And if you like what we do, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot.、And、just a quick announcement for our fans: as I'm doing my research for these videos. I actually end up writing stories that are much, much larger than what you see right here. So I decided to publish our extended stories on Medium for those of you that are nerdy enough to go check them out. You can find our Medium page via the link in the description below.